Welcome to eCareDiary.com's Caregiver Tips and Clips. I'm your host, Meghna Kirakar. Each week, we'll be focused on a caregiver issue in the form of a short education video. The subject of today's video is heart diseases in seniors. Heart disease is a major threat to senior health. In fact, 84% of people age 65 and older die from heart disease. In the United States, the most common form of heart disease is called coronary artery disease or CAD. CAD is often responsible for serious cardiovascular events like a heart attack, heart failure, chest pain, and irregular heartbeat. Statistically, heart disease is the number one cause of death in the world and the leading cause of death in the United States, killing over 375,000 Americans a year. Heart disease accounts for one in seven deaths in the U.S. Someone in the U.S. dies from heart disease about once every 90 seconds. From 2001 to 2011, the death rate from heart disease has fallen by about 39%, but the risk factors remain high. It's the number one killer of women, taking more lives than all forms of cancer combined. About 735,000 people in the U.S. have heart attacks each year, of which about 120,000 die. About 635,000 have a first-time heart attack each year, and about 300,000 have recurrent heart attacks. So what changes in the body? Different systems in the body and mind change during the aging process. As we get older, the muscle relaxes less between beats and becomes stiffer. Blood is not pumped as efficiently as before. The blood vessel walls thicken become less elastic and less responsive to stimulation by the nervous system. Calcium salts accumulate in the body tissue, making the heart vulnerable to many problems. Elderly patients, especially those over the age of 70, should not neglect symptoms. However, many warning signs don't appear until you're having a heart attack. Symptoms include shortness of breath, fatigue, pain in the left chest, dizziness, palpitations, nausea, and unusual pain in the neck, back, or shoulder area. Heart disease treatments vary by condition. If lifestyle changes alone aren't enough, your doctor may prescribe medications to control your heart disease. Here are some medications prescribed based on the type of heart disease. Angiotensin converting enzyme or ACE inhibitors are heart medications that widen or dilate your blood vessels to improve the amount of blood your heart pumps. Since the 1970s, aspirin has been used to prevent and manage stroke. Beta blockers treat hypertension and congestive heart failure. Calcium channel blockers are heart disease drugs that relax blood vessels and increase the supply of blood and oxygen to the heart while also reducing the heart's workload. Antiplatelet drugs are a group of powerful medications that prevent the formation of blood clots. Angiotensin II receptor blockers decrease certain chemicals that narrow the blood vessels, allowing blood to flow more easily through your body. Warfarin and other blood thinners help prevent clots from forming in the blood. Then there are nitrates that are used to treat angina in people with coronary artery disease or chest pain caused by blocked blood vessels of the heart. Glycosin is a medication that helps an injured or weakened heart work more efficiently to send blood through the body. Diuretics, commonly known as water pills, help your body get rid of unneeded water and salt through the urine, making it easier for your heart to pump. Medical care is essential once heart disease is diagnosed. If medications aren't enough, it's possible your doctor will recommend specific procedures or surgery. Again, the type of procedure will depend on the type of heart disease and the extent of damage to your heart. Angioplasty is a non-surgical procedure that can be used to open blocked heart arteries. Heart bypass surgery can be used to treat heart disease when your coronary arteries are blocked. The blood is given a new pathway to the heart. For many people with heart disease, drugs alone will not convert irregular heartbeats to a normal heart rhythm. For these people, a procedure called cardioversion or electrical cardioversion may be necessary. When treatment for heart bar disease includes surgery, it can be performed by traditional surgery or minimally invasive treatments. 
a heart transplant is the replacement of a person's diseased heart with a healthy donor's heart. Finally, pacemakers are small devices that send electrical impulses to the heart muscle to maintain a suitable heart rate and rhythm. A pacemaker may also be used to treat fainting spells and congested heart failure. Though heart diseases and their risks increase with age, it can be contained with regular checkups. Make sure to always check with your doctor. Monitor heart conditions by controlling blood pressure, controlling diabetes, maintaining healthy weight, reducing cholesterol, taking medication to treat chest pain. When it comes to lifestyle changes, it is crucial to get enough exercise, quit smoking and reduce alcohol intake, eat a heart-healthy diet, which includes lots of fresh fruits and vegetables, and minimize stress in your life. Again, your doctor is the best person to advise you on a plan that would work best for you. So please do not take any steps without consulting with him or her first. Keeping your heart healthy takes effort. February is American Heart Month. It's never too late to start living a healthy lifestyle and getting your heart disease risk in check. Thank you for joining us today. To access more caregiver tips and clips, visit us at www.ecarediary.com. Until next time.